Lee, Trey, even uh, Marvin have all been running. Yeah, I think that it definitely can be in jeopardy uh, for somebody to run fast. Um, so I'm, I mean, I'm looking forward to the meet and, and obviously knowing that there's fast times that have been run here um, is good. Um, I, you know, for me, I wasn't, I didn't, I guess when I was back the day, I didn't run, uh, pay attention to track as much and that unless it was like a world championship or Olympics or something like that. So um, just these, these meets here uh, where we get a chance really to, uh, I mean, just come out and have fun and, and kind of uh, focus on some of the small things and like execution and, and just everything with, with uh, running fast when it comes to the 100. But yeah, I think the, I think the, uh, I think the record could definitely go down with as fast as we've all been running this year. So it's any given day, track and field is so black and white. <laughs> uh, one day it could be someone, the next it could be another. I think that's the beauty behind it all. I know people are so used to seeing both at the top. Um, I think now it's just became so prevalent that us as Americans and many people around the world are just running fast consistently. Uh, at a very high level to where it's coming down to the smallest of seconds uh, coming down to like blanket finishes and many races that you all have seen previously so now I think it's this this is like the gamble part of track and field I think people are going to continue to love is that people won't be able to pick who want to win a race it's not going to be that that big gap between individuals that Bolt was able to do. Now it's like, man, it could be one day, me the next day, it could be Ronnie, the next day it could be so on and so forth. Like, you just never know. And I think that's going to be the beauty from here on out throughout track and field is like, any given day, it's going to be that adrenaline rush of not knowing and dealing with that excitement of it. You know, Korea itself, you know, but, you know, from, from what I've experienced so far, you know, people have been really friendly. You know, very kind, and for me that means a lot. So I'm, I'm happy with that kind of reaction and response from people here. Where is it tomorrow? Uh, my goal tomorrow is to have fun. It's my last biggest meet in Europe, in the world, and, and I'm gonna just go out there and yeah, have a show of fun and uh, have a great end of the season with my other discus colleagues. And uh, of course, it's a uh, it's a pretty good mark, so I'm gonna, of course, try to enter it. Marko Kandik, just to look at the side, on my, I'm the cash on the minimum match, but that's it, we go by, well, we don't know, 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 Ova, jednostavno dok se samo uključite svi u jednu stazu, ova i već čujete zvon. Ja sutra čuvam, to jest ja sam, ja želim sutra i dati ću sve od sebe da sačuvam naslov, kažem, krajice diska sa Save. Izgubila sam ga već jednom od Amerikanke 2015. godine, a onda poslije toga šta dolazi sa tim, nekada oči. Hođu i podrežem našeg vacače, obacujem kugle. Velike face su se spustile, došli u Zagreb na Fontane, Ryan Krauser, Joe Kovac, Tom Walsh i naravno Filip Mihajlić koji kao ni ja nije rekao sve svoje u Tokiju i mislim da se on može jako uplesti u borbu za postoje na samom Hanžeku i sjećate se da su dečkovi bacali po kiši i ovo će prvi put da će imati savješene, recimo tako zvane savješene uvijete toplo vrijeme i ja sam jedna mugurna atmosfera, za atmosferu ste odgovorni vi, tako da vas pozivam se sve da dođete. A sutra vas očekuje poslastnica, prvo će biti muški djeti, možemo gledati hitac preko 70 metara legendarnog Daniela Štala, koji je ove godine u odličnoj formi i koji može podignuti publiku i također voli jako Hrvatsku. I nakon toga kada nas Štal zagrije, dolazimo Valari i ja, i ja se nadam lijepom, poštenom i dobrom fajku sutra na stavu. 70 i bilo je još tu puno djevala kad bilo 70 metara, sjetimo se sa početka moje karijere Darije Pričalnikove koja je imala pred samim olimpijski igre u Londonu 70 metara koja se nisam bojala. Tako da mislim, ona je na putu da postane i da ostavi rezultate koje sam ja ostvarila, ali ja također znam što sam ja pošla za nje 12 godina da bi održala ovu formu, a njoj želim svu sreću i ja se nadam počet ćemo na Hanžaku, onda se pržimo i dogodimo.